met. We met in China a couple of years ago, so it's nice to see you again. And I've got my, I've got my colleagues, Catherine and Hugh, who are with us today. So how did you come to be at CAST? Well, at the interest, that story it was quite short, simply because at the time I, am, I was about to graduate from Imperial uh, with a BN degree, came to know cows was recruiting from my tutor. So he, recommend me, he recommended me to try to apply where he see that could be a good opportunity considering I have the personality to explore the unknown world. Three years at SABIC, good, good career move. And, uh, and then you made your way back to China, but did you make your way back to China by road? Yes, indeed. Tell us about that. I share my screen with you here. That basically, yes. I try to keep my itineraries on on the each place I, I went to, but just gave up after after Iran. <laughs> well, you can see quite a, quite a good coverage of almost every country in Middle East, except wow. the two countries that was in war back in the days. Yes. Iran, yes. Iran. Pretty so, pretty interesting. I, I miss the day when I still traveling. It, the whole journey took me about six months. So, so, for, so we, did you have a car? Were you using a car or? or no, public transport. Public transport. Wow. The whole My way. Goodness. I, I was thinking if I can take my car in cows to, 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 to do this trip, but end up, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the north to Georgia. The the out the outer Caucasus is very beautiful place for hiking on the mountains. Yes, Georgia was nice. So you said that took you about six months. Did you say six yes. months? Yeah. And then the the later path later part of the path is like from Iran to Pakistan, and then from south of the country Karachi all the way up to Islamabad and then go to this, this area of Chinese-Pakistani border. Yeah. Yeah, and then back to China. Can we talk a little bit, uh, I mean, as much as you can, can we talk a little bit about your job? Um, what, what now is your job? Have there been any changes? What is your job title? So, um, I was recruited as an assistant to the chairman, and later mm -hmm. I get a new assignment to be a VP of the company in charge of the product. Yeah. And now I have a new title just a month ago, COO of the company. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. So yeah. The robot on the picture you see is, is the one running in a substation. It can basically replace human inspector, replace human inspector to check meters and temperature measurement of, right. of different right. equipment. And, and that's like the one that KAUST is getting because we're getting the... The, the one we, we sent to KAUST is, isn't like this log, but I will going to show you one. So that's a good time yeah, for you to make sure. Yeah, actually. It help us, it help us through the IPO. Imagine everything stopped in last quarter and we should have a revenue target that we could not make it until we have this new product. And end up we fill the gap, we fill more than the gap by developing and selling this product. Mm. Yes. So we, 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 in the crisis, we find the opportunity basically. Does your background specifically help you to understand the entire workings of the development and operation of the robot? Yes, it helps a lot. Without this technical background, I could have, I could not basically understand what's going on on, on this complex system. Or, or, but 
the more the more important factor that I obtained through the degrees, no, no, either either imperial or caust is the way that the way to learn, the way to learn where not not my knowledge background, but the way to learn new knowledge helps a lot in in taking mm. up the new challenges. Were there things uh, at Cal's that you learnt that you've really been able to take with you professionally? Yes, the experience itself helps a lot because you can see on my resume I was a material scientist graduate from Imperial. But my tutor back in the days in, in Cal's, he said to me, you could you could not have two master in the same subject. Ah. <laughs> At the end of the semester, like I, for that month, I, I have to camp in the library. <laughs> I think the people still, still do that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, you yeah. never have enough time to finish all the homework and do the revision. <laughs> so I had a question for you and that actually had to do with the trip. And that is once, when you travel like that for six months, when you got home, was it hard to settle down to kind of get back into normal life? Mm, yes, kind of, because the time stay at home, you know, when you're on the trip, for half of the year, you become, get used to change every day. You, you on the, on the beginning, in, in the beginning of every week, you will start thinking, where should I go and, and what I will do in the next location. When, when I get home, this will not applicable anymore. So pretty late for, pretty late for, for, for two weeks and then I get pretty sick to, to have that lazy day with me. Yeah, quite, quite difficult to transit. Yeah, back yeah. to a normal life. So to, imagine yeah. I was doing, so I, I found something to do those days. I just start my a business to run the hot pot restaurant. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. hot pot restaurant. Yes. And, and, okay. and then I also apply for my MBA course during those normal boring days. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, obviously, you always had that entrepreneurial interest and that's why you went and did an MBA and that's why you opened a restaurant and that's why, in a sense, you've been uh, one of the faces of uh, Shen Hao. And, uh, and so it's exciting. You've really, you've really kind of flipped uh, the traditional model of engineer. Yeah. I, I hope I could be a good not good model for those started their career in engineering field, but end up want to do something else. I hope I can run a create, creative platform or a research center of Shanghai in some overseas country like US or Europe. That's pretty much I'm still wanting to do to get my life closer to the technology. Well, Junji, it's been so lovely talking to you today and good to see you again and so good to talk to you and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you, Junji. Thank you. That's okay. great. So good to Bye -bye. see you. Thank you. Thank you, Junji, for your time. Bye.